Hi, my name is Seti and welcome to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at the Chrome browser and in particular, how you can log into your Chrome browser. Now, logging into your Chrome browser is very much recommended. Now, why would you want to log in? Well, for a number of different reasons. Not only do your bookmarks get synced, but you can also sync your passwords, history, and anything else you do within that browser. Now, logging in is made very easy by Google. Now, there are three different platforms we'll be looking at today, and the first one is the Chrome OS. Now, on Chrome, as soon as you log into your Chrome device, you will automatically be logged into your browser as well. Now, you can double check that by going into the settings icon. So, when you are in your browser, simply click on that menu button and then find settings. Now, here you can see the different users logged into the browser. Now, this will look different on different platforms. Now, let's hop over onto Apple and let's see what this looks like on a MacBook. Now, on your MacBook, same thing. We have our browser and we can open up our Chrome browser. Now, once you've opened up your browser, you'll have to navigate to the top right corner. Now, you'll see a little icon there and that's a person or a profile picture and that's where we're going to click. Now then we have the option to turn on sync. Now, as I mentioned before, why do we log in? Well, we log in so that we can sync all our history, bookmarks and other information. So let's go ahead and click on turn on sync. Once you've clicked on that, you'll be asked to put in your credentials. So this is your Gmail account and password. And then you're going to be brought to the next page. You are now logged into your Chrome browser. You can double check to make sure that you are logged in by again going to the top and clicking on that first letter of your name. If you don't see a letter, then you will see your profile picture there. You can click on it and you will see that you are currently logged into your browser. All your bookmarks are going to make their way over. Your extensions are going to be downloaded and you'll have access to the exact exact same Chrome experience you would have on any other device that you are signed into. Now you can add multiple people and multiple Chrome profiles. How do we do that? Well again go to that same top menu and this time select manage people. Now when you're managing people you can add different profiles. One example is you can have a work profile and a personal profile. This means that whichever one you choose, that's the one that then opens up in your browser. And those are the extensions and bookmarks and history, even passwords that you are using. For example, my school account has all the passwords and shortcuts to my school websites, whereas my personal one links to my own profiles. And that's what it looks like on a MacBook. Now let's move over onto Windows and let's see what this looks like on Windows. Again, we are opening up our browser and we can go to that same menu at the top. We click on it and now we again log in or turn on sync. Once you've turned it on, you can then go to the same exact menu, which is manage people and you can add a person. Now you can add as many as you want, but I would highly recommend that you think carefully about which shortcuts that you add to your desktop and which Chrome profiles that you log into. The reason for that is if someone gets access to your device and they double click on the shortcut that links to that Chrome profile, they will automatically be logged into all the accounts linked to that Chrome profile. And that's it for logging into Chrome. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure that you scroll down and let us know in the comment section below. This was another Tips and Tricks by Apps Events and Acer, and I will see you in the next one.